All right, welcome back. It is 642. The opioid epidemic is costing communities across the state and the country millions and millions of dollars. Now municipalities are going after the drug companies in an attempt to fix the problem. Seven Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live this morning in Macomb County. Matt. Yeah, we're seeing more and more communities actually do this. Oakland and Wayne County did it not that long ago. And now Macomb County's lawyers are telling me that they should see some action of their own lawsuit along with other municipalities and local governments joining it to combat pills sometime in the near future, hopefully around the start of the new year. But meanwhile, they're also dealing with the problems that these have already brought. Uh, I believe I would be dead. To understand how a young man gets there, you need to go back back before the arrest, back before the hard drugs, back to the pills themselves, a prescription for something simple, a broken bone. Anthony was just 15. In the beginning, it felt good. And down the rabbit hole he went. By the time he was an adult, the problems were more obvious. I got into heroin because of the cost. And Mattarella is here now telling his story because he found help, and there's a lot available. And his came through drug court in Macomb County and what's known as Families Against Narcotics, a nonprofit his family got involved in. But his story is more common than you think. Neighborhoods all across Macomb County deal with it daily. Last year, 202 people died here from opioids. And those pills that seem so easy to take, well, they're killing people. We're now at a point where there's more pill prescriptions in Michigan than there are actual people. Do everything in our power to address this national shame and this human tragedy. On a national level, there's studies and emergency proclamations. But on a local level, counties are filing lawsuits. Macomb County will do so soon. But in the meantime, those who are already addicted are struggling to find help. Mattarella is one of the success stories. He's back with his family. He's now an intern, and he will soon become a paralegal. He's even working in the drug courts that set his life back on track. I think that's what keeps me going. I don't want anybody else to feel that way. Now, Anthony is actually part of the Family Against Narcotics family himself. Him and his family do a lot of work with them. He actually would be one of the angels that would help out here at the Roseville Police Department. People have the right to actually show up, walk up to the doors. They can turn themselves in, but there are no handcuffs. There's no arrest. What they're actually doing is helping you find a treatment center. Police deal with so many of these cases. This is a better way for them to combat it. The White House actually just released numbers this past week. 504, and we're talking billions of dollars, was forfeited this year. This is lost wages. This is money thrown at the problem just last year due to the opioid epidemic and it is still growing at a much larger pace so we could be talking about trillions of dollars if they don't get a handle on this program both locally and nationally in the near future for now we're live outside the roseville police department matthew smith seven action news such a monumental problem that affects so many lives out there so many families thank yeah, you Matt. it's a lot of money it can be used elsewhere thanks matt